And we're live! Here's some slimes! Alright, so... There's only a few more achievements for me to get before I finish the game. And we've pretty much run out of easy ones. Except beating Anna on Epic. That's still kind of easy. Maybe I'll do that today. Quest completionist I can't do without hacking my uh, system clock. So uh, I, I might have to do that off screen. Like, I, I don't know if I can live stream that because it might mess with the live stream if I change my system clock. Uh, the final boss is going to be the last thing I do. And uh, these ones are going to be pretty hard. The boss rushes for uh, the classic bosses. Yeah. Hmm. So let's see, do I have a save file near Anna? I don't think so. Oh, it's a one player mode. Hmm, actually let's take a look, where is this? So, uh, maybe I'll continue on this one later when it comes to fighting Anna. I'll fight her with one character. That might be fun. But anyway, for now, I need to, uh, I need to finish this puzzle that I started last time. Oh, you think I should try playing the game in a different language? Well, uh, what language do you want? So I can try it right now. I'd probably do okay in Polish. Uh, not so much in other ones. I wouldn't really understand anything. But I pretty much have all the text in the game memorized reasonably well, so I don't really need the languages. Anyway, uh, you guys get to watch me do this puzzle. Maybe I'll be lucky and I'll do it on my first try, but I probably won't be. Anyway, I'm going to turn off uh, Treasure Finder for now. Remind me to turn on Treasure Finder later, because uh, I'm really going to need that to find all the secrets. And at this point in the game, it's not really cheating, because um, I'm almost finished, and there's not much I can find on my own at this point. Alright, let's see. Did I mess this up already? Pick randomly, Japanese. Okay, I'll change change the language to Japanese for now. There you go. Okay, it's going well, so far. Uh, how do I get that block back here, though? There we go. That wasn't so bad. 
It really depends on you kind of making the right moves at the start of the puzzle, because if you mess it up early, early on then you can't finish. But once you get the first two blocks, then I think the next two are pretty easy. Alright, so it's time to turn uh, Treasure Finder back on. Uh, which one's Treasure Finder, by the way? I think it was this one, right? Is that Treasure Finder? I think so. I guess we'll find out soon. Actually, I don't know if there's any treasure or not, so... I don't know if it's gonna turn on. Hmm... Anyway, let's, uh, let's go treasure hunting in the new areas. South of the sea. So, anything around here? Doesn't look like it. Any treasure? I'm gonna turn on this other option just in case that's treasure finder, but I don't think it is. I think I have it on correctly. Oh, okay, there's something here. Alright. There we go. And, oh, there's something else. There we go, there's another treasure. And we're down here. We're, we're done down here, yeah. Nothing down there. So, I think we're almost done with the treasure hunting. Uh, on the last stream, I, I checked pretty much the whole world map, except for this part. So, as far as secrets and treasure chests go, I don't think there's really anything left for me to find. Oh, there's something here. Well, there's treasure chests for beating the bosses here, so... That might be what I have to do next. What do you guys think? Should I do the classic boss rushes here? Or should I do the arcade boss rush? Maybe I'll leave that for last because it's hard. Or maybe should I go back and fight Anna on one player mode epic to get the achievement? So, uh, Anna, classic bosses, or arcade bosses? What do you prefer? I think, uh, Anna will be the easiest, so I'd I'd rather do that first. Alright, everyone's voting for classic. Well, I'm gonna change the language back, because I don't want to fight any epic mode bosses in, uh, in the wrong language. Oh, Treasure Finder was the other one, so I did it wrong after all. Oops. So, uh, having Treasure Finder should not stop me from getting any of the epic achievements, but I'm going to turn it off just in case I didn't program it correctly. I'm pretty sure it should be fine. It's not supposed to affect your achievements, but I'm not going to take any chances. Anyway, uh, what characters should I use for uh, the two-player bosses? So that will be the slimes, the beholder, the sandworm, and the golem. Which two characters should I pick for this? I think Natalie definitely has to be in the team though. Because it's going to be pretty hard without her limits break. Maybe Natalie and Anna would be a good team. Hmm.
classic team. Okay. So Matt's gonna have to keep changing his sword. Uh, the first one is weak against the. Uh, well, the Beholder is the first one that has a weakness, and he's weak against ice. So maybe I should just start with the ice sword for now. And at first I can keep using the horned helmets without any problems. I'm not worried about these elemental weaknesses in the beginning. But later on when I get to uh when I get to the ice and fire golem, I'm gonna probably have to change some of these equips. Anyone else? Uh, any other equips boost ice? Let's see. I don't think they do. I think I have to go with the Viking armor here. No legs. Give me those dog tags. Is Matt likely to die? I'm not sure. I don't know if he needs all these, but uh, well, no point of him having a fairy, because then that will cancel out the effects of the dog tags. When it comes to the golem, elemental resistance isn't really that important because he's going to kill my guys in one hit anyway with his attacks. Maybe I'll leave Matt with this on. I think that'll be okay. If he dies, then he'll come back very strongly. And, uh, Nathalie's actually, her HP is not that high. Can I make it even higher? Buffs. Defense and Matt. Oh, that's actually pretty useful. Hmm. Hmm. Boost healing, healing items. Okay, she'll be really good at healing then. And she'll have her limit break charged up fast. And uh, her HP is only a little bit higher than Matt's, but she has. Uh, okay, she's got a lower defense. Hmm. Much higher magic defense though. So, it's going to be an interesting fight, I guess. We'll see how it goes. Maybe she should have the fairy. Yeah, I'm going to give her the fairy. Because if she gets killed, she can uh, easily come back to life with this. When it comes to summons, uh, I should have at least one offensive one for this. The sandworm is also weak against ice, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this crystal hydra with me, so I can do some massive ice damage if I need to. And I'll take the yeah, I'll take the frost wraith as well. Hmm, I don't have a lot of uh, don't have a lot of space left over for summons, but anyway, I think that's a good build, so. Wish me luck. I'm on epic mode. All cheats off, and I'm gonna go for that achievement. Oh wait, wait. I should ch check. Uh, I should check Natalie's skills. And uh, I think she's okay. She's not gonna be attacking very much. Oh, she should take these with her.
Okay, that helps. Now Matt's also got a healing move. Okay, I think that works. Alright, slimes. Ooh, it's glitched weather. That's gonna be annoying. The glitched weather is here because I'm playing on a custom game mode. So, uh, the, the different weather is turned on, which makes the game a little bit harder. Glitch weather is, uh, mildly annoying. I mean, sometimes I can't see enemy HP bars and stuff like that. But I think I should be okay. Oh, I can't see their scan info either. Oh, that's stupid. Oh, I can't really see anything. Oh my god. I can't see my own status effects. Oh boy. Maybe I should take, uh... Maybe I should bring a summon that changes the weather. You know what? I'm gonna do that. Alright, let's see. Other effects. Who's the cheapest summon that changes the weather? Cherry Blossom. Might be risky, but I'm gonna take that one. Or Acid. Hmm. No, I'll take, I'll take Sunlight. That sounds better. Nathalie gets all the defense bonuses. I don't think Math's got any, so that's not very useful. So we've got eight waves of enemies, and this is only the first one. It starts off pretty easy, but it's gonna get really hard towards the end. I think the sandworm is gonna give us a bit of trouble if if we're not prepared. But this first boss should be no problem. Actually, normally this first boss doesn't have any helpers, but since I'm playing on custom game, uh, he also has two slimes helping him. But that shouldn't make too much of a difference. I'm gonna use... Should I use Hidden Power? Hmm. Yeah, I might as well. I'll get my limit break back soon, pretty soon anyway, so I might as well go for it. Christ. Uh, uh, that was 400,000 damage. Good thing that Matt has the dog tags, so he can jump right into battle as soon as- Hey, come on! Hey, it wasn't so much damage that time. I wonder why it was 
seemed a weaker that time. Anyway, uh, this first boss is gonna be dead soon, despite doing massive damage. That was a wasted turn. Yeah, Nathalie takes much less damage from that attack. Yeah, it's very annoying not, not being able to see how much HP the boss has. Use Revenge? I'm actually not sure if Revenge will be good or not with only two characters. I'm not sure how that's factored into the equation. Alright, is it Natalie's turn for a limit break? I think it is. Again? Huh. I got that last stream as well. Weird. If I get a hundred viewers, I might tell people how that happens. So, uh, yeah, get more people watching, I might tell ya. Oh, Matt's limit's already charged, that was quick. I haven't captured these eyeballs! Oh, I need to capture them. It's gonna be hard with only two characters. This is probably gonna kill him. Yep, oh boy. No eyeballs for me. I definitely need to kill this tree, otherwise he's he's gonna stun me. These trees can be very dangerous. Ouch. Hmm. That wasn't very good. Luckily, Nathalie is immune to stun and to instant death. Which I didn't realize until now, but that's very lucky. Oh, uh, is Beholder not captured? Uh, I can't tell, actually. I guess not. I think it would probably tell me if he if he was. But I can capture him later, probably. No way, he won't respawn. In the normal fight, he won't respawn because I have no respawns turned on. Oh, that was my last watermelon? Huh. Okay, uh, this is going pretty well. Nathalie can summon, uh, yeah, Slime Bunny, maybe? Let's see. Can we debuff him? I don't know by how much, but whatever. This is my last chance to capture the Beholder. 
Oh boy. I guess I'll try. Well, it's kind of good that Mass died because it means he didn't get stunned, which might have been even worse. Not even close. Poison. Psh. Ouch. Oh, oh, yeah, that was useless because I can't, I can't give him bad luck. Damn. Stop. Ooh, I need to catch him now. Because he's gonna die. Oh! That was close. Die, tree. Oh no, these guys, uh, oh, they do a lot of damage. So, uh, yeah, Matt's gonna have a hard time here with this helmet, so it's, it's time to change. I need to give him something else. I, I cannot have this helmet that gives him weakness to fire and ice. Do I want to give him Berserk? I don't know if that's a good idea. It's tempting, though. He has a lot of fire resistance on that helmet. Give them fire and ice resistance and also HP buff. So, yeah, I'm gonna go with this. Ice and water. Ice and fire. Okay, Matt, Matt should be much better at surviving this boss fight now. Oh, what the hell? Nathalie's getting frozen. Oh boy.
Okay, that was easy. Time for the boss. Okay, uh, with that kind of damage, my limits will charge in no time. I think this is the first time Natalie's properly died. So I hope that doesn't happen too many times. Or else I'm gonna have a hard time. Okay, Matt can survive uh, the golem's attacks, so that's good. Okay, I'm just gonna use up some of my SP here, for no good reason, I just want to do some damage. Ooh, nice. I mean, when it comes to capturing all the enemies, I'm just going to turn off the no respawn thing. Because uh, there, there's no good reason for me to keep using that. I already turned off a lot of the other challenges that I had on earlier. I started my playthrough with counterattacks on and I turned those off. So, whatever. I'm just going to keep summoning ice things. Oh, I don't have the Wraith anymore, so I'm just going to summon this again. Is Glitchweather going to remain for the entire boss rush? Yep. But it's not so bad, actually. It's not really been causing me too many problems. Okay, he's gone. So, I need to get ready for the sandworm before I kill this guy. So, Natalie's fine the way she is but Matt's gonna have to change his equips. And I think uh, the safest thing to do against the Sandworm is just to use a poison strategy. So, should I give him Virus? Maybe that's not a good idea. Virus might come back and just kill my guys. So, I'll, uh, let's see. Oh, that's not leveled up, huh. I'll need defense against... Well, poison defense is the most important thing. Natalie already has that, but Matt doesn't, so let's see. Well, that's, that's pretty good, okay. Increases buffs, and uh, maybe. Cast bind. Alright, I'm gonna use this. Okay, poison strategy it is.
Oh yeah, I first have to fight the, this wave. Oh well. Oh, let's see. Okay, that was not very strong. I don't think I have much to fear. Maybe we can get that virus going a bit early. Okay, Matt's got virus, that's good. Things are only gonna get better from now on. Oh, is Organ Jaws included? No, no it is not. Yeah, the tentacles replace uh, weapon status with the virus. That's a new feature. That's uh, that's something I added in version two. Maybe I should give Natalie some poison resistance as well. Oh, it gives her immunity to being poisoned. Which is no good. Okay, I'll give her this. Yeah, why not? So my characters are going to have a crazy amount of passive healing. I think all I have to do is stay alive and this boss will just go down on his own. damage here. Oh, they're actually resistant to poison. I didn't know that. Huh. Alright, well, take this. There we go. Alright, boss time. The final boss in this boss rush. And so far it wasn't too hard. But I did say that uh, I will be putting up the damage the enemies do in this mode a little bit, because uh, due to the way the level scaling works on this custom game, the bosses are a little bit weaker than they should be. So, uh, I'm gonna put their damage up by about 10 or 12 percent. Which still shouldn't make them crazy hard, but, you know, a bit more challenging than what you're seeing right now. Alright, let's do it. Virus time. Oh no! I'm not taking any chances here, I'm gonna use an espresso. 
Okay, Natalie, do your thing. Ooh, uh, yeah, Sandworm's taking half a million damage per turn already. Stop. Stop. If I keep dying, then I lose my virus, which means I don't get the heal the healing power anymore. Ah, that did less damage than the poison does. I think his virus is probably maxed out now, so let's do some more poison damage. So now I just have to play defensively until the sandworm dies of poison. Oh, there we go. That was nice. Yeah, it's going to get easier and easier now. Since he's going to use more poison attacks as his HP gets lower, he's just going to keep puking on us. So I have nothing to be afraid of. I'll use some summons. Alright, let's see, what do we have? Well, I can't use the Crystal Hydra, so I don't really have any summons that'll be useful here. Alright, here we go. Finish him off. Hey, he survived! Just barely. That's lame. There we go. Oh, we are almost at a hundred viewers. There we go. Achievement unlocked. That wasn't too bad. And look who we got, we got Captain Viridian from the game VVVVVV. I don't know if that's how it's actually pronounced, but that's how it's spelled. So, uh, his special effect is kind of interesting. You can basically save your turn for the next turn. I'm sure some people have came up with some good strategies for that, but, uh... I'm probably not going to use it just now. Anyway, what characters should I use for the next boss rush? I'm allowed three, and I think you guys are probably gonna say just add Lance. So, so that's probably what I'm gonna do. There's a hundred? I don't see a hundred. It says 96 viewers for me. V. 
V to the power of 6. I guess I could call it that. Okay, okay, it says 101 viewers now. Okay, I can reveal the secret. And the secret is that it does happen randomly. I believe the chance is 1 in 50. And it will never happen near the start of the game. So you have to uh, complete at least half of the game before it happens. So uh, after you get the raft, I think, then there's a 1 in 50 chance of you getting that. And that's the secret. That's all there is to it. So the fact that I got it twice in a row is very unlikely. And since everyone's here now watching, you should uh, like the stream and, and buy the game and all that, so whatever. And uh, yeah, it's time for me to get ready for another boss rush. So, who am I up against this time? I will be up against Jack, Protector, uh, Rafflesia, and Praetorian. So, a lot of those bosses are weak against Bomb. So, I need to have Lance with Bomb equips. That's for sure. And I also need, uh... I remember I need a good way of lowering, uh... Protector's attack and magic attack, otherwise I'll be in trouble. Oh, why Why can you move those chairs? Uh, there's no reason. So summons War Mammoth between turns. That's pretty useful. I'm gonna go with this. Also gives him thunder defense. Okay. So Lance is well equipped. To, uh, to deal with the, what you might call it, the protector boss now. I'm gonna put Natalie back into survival mode. Um, is there something better she could have here? Well, the resistance she gets from this will be pretty useful. So maybe I'll give her that for now. Okay, this should be useful. And I can combine it with Meow Meow. Cat Bomber. I'll take it. I think this should be okay. Nathalie could use some more uh, bomb resistance, actually. Let's see. Maybe like this? So 
So I have good summons for dealing with the boss as well. They, they lower his attack and magic attack. So I think I'm ready to go. Time for the next one. Yeah, Jack uses bomb and fire, so I'm I'm pretty well equipped to deal with fire and bomb and thunder, which is the main elements that most other robot bosses will be doing. Uh, Rafflesia shouldn't be too hard, so I'm not too worried about that boss. But uh, when it comes to that, I can always switch to poison resistance. Why are his clothes called hobo clothes? Because uh, he doesn't have any money at the start of the game, so that's why. Okay, I don't need the Crystal Hydra anymore, let's get rid of him. And I don't need this one. Oops. So, what did I have there before? I had, uh... This guy. And Bookworm. He'll be useful against Praetorian, actually, because the more, more accuracy will be useful. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a bomb summon with me as well. What's a strong bomb guy? Oh, none of these are bomb, except this guy. Four hundred power. All right, I guess I'll take uh, I'll take blue creep with me. And uh, I'll replace the Maw for now. Okay, I think it's time to go. I think, uh, I think this build should work pretty well. Is there any other skills that I should take with me? Uh, reflex? Okay, I'll take that. Oh, I don't even have Protect on me. <laughs> I got through that last boss rush without any of the buffs. Oops. Wait, uh, hold on. That skill might be useful against Rafflesia, so let, let's bring that back. Okay. That's not going to be useful for this one, so there we go. Alright, time to go. Oh, it's radiation! That's the weather. Okay, that's gonna be fun. Random debuffs for everyone. Okay, whatever. Good thing Nathalie has the Triforce so she can keep spamming her limit break. Okay, let's see. So, Nathalie defends. Lance defends. Matt uses uh, this. All right, let's uh, let's see how this goes. This one should be a little bit harder than the other boss rush. But it shouldn't be too bad, because I've fought all of these bosses before, and, and now I have way more skills and equips, so I have much more strategies available to me. So I don't think there's anything uh, anything too bad the bosses can do, at, do to me. Wow, that was pretty good. I guess Math doesn't need to do much attacking if Lance can do that much damage. Alright, it's uh, first boss is up. Yeah, I started using the YouTube uh, live notification thing that lets people know that the stream's gonna start in a few hours. Because, uh, you know, after doing this a few times, I, I have a better idea of when I'm gonna stream now, and it's usually when Rania's out of the house. So if Rania uh, plans to go play D&D or something, I just schedule a stream in like a few hours. And that works for me! All 
right, let's uh, let's get rid of this guy first. Ouch! That's uh, a lot of damage, but nothing to worry about. I'm really glad I gave uh, Matt's the dog tags because it's really useful. Okay. Yes! Yeah, that gives a lot of extra damage. So I gave Matt the Meow Meow badge, which doubles the chance of a weapon unleash triggering. And that's really useful for this sword, because that big bullet at the end gave like a lot of extra damage. So that was definitely worth giving him. Ah, okay, Lance is dead. That's okay, Lance is also easy to uh, to bring back. All oh, yes, wow. Thanks, Cat. Lance just needs to be revived, and then he needs to defend once, and then he's uh, he's good to attack again. So how much damage does this do on its own? Okay, about 400,000. So using Legend is uh, a lot stronger than just using Big Bullet. But uh, if Big Bullet doesn't activate after Legend, then then it's not really that powerful. Ooh, that was over a million damage. That's really good. Lance, please do more of that. Uh, how does your normal attack compare? Okay, your magic attack is way higher than your normal attack. This boss is gonna die in no time. Will I fight the bosses in Matt's house? Yeah, I will, later. Uh, I, I think I should have time to do it on this live stream. Because uh, these bosses are going down pretty fast. So, I will definitely make these bosses a little bit harder. The reason they're so easy is because I'm playing on a custom game mode, where uh, the level up formula is a bit different. So I have scaling foes turned on, which means that... I ended up at level 45 at the end of the game, where normally I would only be like level 36 or 37. So I'm gonna have to change the enemy scaling appropriately to make them a little bit stronger. I'm gonna give them 12% uh, more attack. So that'll make them a little bit harder. But not crazy hard. And anyway, this is a... oops. Uh, forgot to use Hyper Beam. Anyway, this is a custom game mode, so most, most players won't be playing on this. They'll be playing on the normal game settings. This game mode is really for people who have already beaten the game and just want to play play it again, but slightly differently. Uh, let's see... let's do this. That radiation weather is really giving me a lot of debuffs. Hmm, there's not too much Natalie can do right now. Ouch. Yeah, Lance almost survived. What? Big bullet didn't trigger. 
I guess Big Bullet's really rare. If it can also fail, even with the Meow Meow badge. Okay, uh... Yeah, this boss is over. He's finished. There we go. Very clean victory. Does morale prevent the effect of radiation? Uh, I, I don't think so. I can't remember. I'm not sure. But I think it only it only works on like enemy attacks when when they debuff you. It has to, it has to be from an enemy attack that does damage. I think. But I'm not sure. I don't know. You could try it. But yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, I, I did change uh, how Morale, Brave, and Hungry work. Those three status effects now also protect you against debuffs. So that's a new feature that most people won't know about because it's so obscure. But it's pretty useful in some cases, if you have no other options. Ouch. Alright, time to die. Eat Hyper Beam. Yeah, chuds. Alright, let's see. These clays do a lot of damage, but at least they don't have too much HP. A few bomb attacks kills them. Okay, boss time. So we're gonna we're gonna want to debuff this guy as much as possible, especially when he charges his laser. Oh, lim uh, Natalie's Limit Break isn't ready. Well, I'm gonna just wait for that to be ready then. Let's heal my guys with Power Metal. It's not gonna do any damage. Oh, okay, I did a bit of damage, whatever. Oh, come on, Lance. I need you to be alive. Okay, soon we'll be able to unleash two limit breaks at the same time. So that's gonna be nice. This is, uh, it's not the EBF3 boss rush, this is a three player boss rush, which includes EBF3 and EBF4. Alright, here we go. Oh, I just realized he's charged up his laser. Do anything to dispel him? Well, I can summon this guy. There we go. Alright, Lance, you're up. Oh, Oblivion's actually not gonna be that strong with this gun. Oh well, whatever. Let's see. Okay, your your attack's okay. It's it's not too too low compared to your magic attack. Here we go. Those enemies had no chance to survive. Alright, come on, bring the laser. Ouch. That wasn't so bad. I'm good, I got this. 
I just should make sure to have auto revive on at least one character for emergencies. Okay, Lance, do some more damage. All right, almost a million damage. You got hyper beam ready, but I'm gonna use unload instead. Wait, what, what's gonna do more damage? 300 power hyper beam, 400 power unload. But his, eh, it's gonna be pretty close, but I'm gonna use unload just cause it's fun to use. All right, Matt's turn. Please get big bullets. There we go. Yeah, okay, that was tons of damage in one turn. Oh, whoa! Nathalie, come back. Radiation makes this tricky. Oh, I can use... Yeah, I'm gonna use pizza, why not? Who cares? Ha! <laughs> no bomb damage for me. Ooh! He does a lot of damage. Okay, uh, Lance is debuffed uh, defense. Okay. Let's do that again. Okay, nice damage. Let's heal Lance. Yeah, this boss is going much faster than it did last time. Uh-oh. Oh, that's a lot of healing. But it's not going to be enough to save him. Go forth, Lance. Oh, no! Uh, yeah, I thought he had charge, but he actually had haste. Oh, well, close enough. Oh, oh, he's got, uh, he's got magic defense up. Oops. Well, I'm going to finish him off now with this. There we go. Cool. That was pretty tough. I mean, actually, cool. That was pretty tough. LAO. LAO? What does that mean? LMAO. Okay, I'm not going to do voices because that kills my throat, and obviously, I'm not very good at it right now. Okay, two more bosses to go. So far, it's uh, it's been pretty easy, actually. We'll see how it goes with uh, Rafflesia. Maybe I'll have to change my equips. Do, 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 do. It seems like I've got a lot more viewers t today than I did last time. And I'm not sure if that's because I'm streaming earlier in the day or because it's a weekend. So I'll have to see how that goes. Maybe I should only stream on weekends. I don't know. That might be a bit boring. All 
All right, let's get ready. All right, boss time. His damage is pretty high. Okay. Uh. Um. I wasn't expecting that. That was quick. That was over before it even started. Well, that was lame. I guess I did need more poison resistance after all. I don't know, should I try again right away or should I go do something else for a while? You know what? I'm gonna do something else for a while. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna get the achievement for fighting Anna. Oh well. So, here we are on my other save file where I'm only level 10 and I'm playing on... What am I playing on? I have Equip Remix, which means my characters have random equips, and I can only use one character at a time. So that's gonna be fun, isn't it? But, luckily I can play on zero difficulty mode until I get to Anna. And then I can also grind if I have to. Check it out, it's no legs. With some really powerful equips at the very start of the game. This is pretty satisfying. I know I'm cheating, but it's fun to play the game when it's so easy. It's basically like an idle game where all I have to do is just hit the enemies and level up. Yeah, this is still in beta. It's almost finished, but I still need one more music track, and then it'll be feature complete. So yeah, the, the next update should be the final version, or pretty close to it. And that might be... That, I, I hope that'll be done sometime this week. Alright, boss time. Well, this is gonna be easy. Uh, less foe HP, let's speed it up. Eat some beer, no legs. Beer is good for cats. And don't drink it, just, just eat it, you know? Eat the whole thing. That was easy. That was really quick. 
Yeah, it feels like we're just playing an idle game now. Which is kind of nice, if that's what you're after. A really quick playthrough. Sword, okay. Oh yeah, so here you can see that I'm getting random equips. Because uh, this is a custom game mode where the equip locations are shuffled. They're not completely random, like, you still find equips in the same places, but the equip you get is random. But it is from the same type of equip, so if a sword was there, you're gonna get a random sword. And you can't cheat by loading your save file and getting it again. The This game mode produces a, a world seed, so the seed is always the same, which means the items you find are always based on the seed, so you can't cheat them by loading your saved game. You can't even, like, you can't even change the order you find the items. Like, if you go to a different treasure chest and get a different sword, it'll still be the sword that you would have found in the first treasure chest. So, whatever item you're gonna get, you're gonna get it no matter what you do. What's my favorite beer? Well, it's the one that's in the game, Tenens, which is a Scottish beer. Well, I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but it's what I drink the most because it's, like, the cheapest and it's pretty much where everyone drinks here. As for, well, okay, as for favorites, I, I do like uh, the Japanese one, Asahi. Uh, besides that, I don't know. I, I just drink whatever's available. I like Guinness as well. Oh, you can't drink Corona beer because that gives you the coronavirus and then you die. So I don't recommend drinking Corona because that's how this whole thing started. They introduced the Corona beer to China and they couldn't handle it so they all got a virus. Very bad stuff. Change helmet? Why? Wow, I like this helmet. I have no legs. Uh, if he doesn't finish the fight right away, then he'll get to go berserk. this monolith with one guy. Let's try. Actually, there's no point of capturing him because he's going to be useless on one player mode. Giving my party haste doesn't do anything if I don't have a party. Yeah, uh, EBF5 is very popular in China. Like, uh, almost 20% of the players on Steam are from China. So, uh, more than any other country, except for America.
I'll switch back to epic difficulty when I get to Anna. There's no point in doing it any earlier. Australian players. Uh, I'm not sure, but it's not that many. It's probably like around 2 or 3%. Uh, less than all the other English speaking countries. It'll, it'll be lower down in the list than even Canada and the UK. So I think Australia is probably around 2 or 3%. Which foe do I think is the best summon for one player mode? Uh, I don't know, anything that kind of helps you win the battle as soon as possible, because you don't have many turns to work with. So in a way, I think the damaging ones are more useful now, because uh, the buff ones aren't that useful because you don't really have a party to buff. So the way you play is going to be very different when you only have one character. So I think the damaging summons are definitely much more useful in one player mode. Especially since with one character you've got less elemental coverage. So you can kind of fill the gaps in your attacks with more summons. Oh cool, a cat just surrendered. I guess I get to cat- Oh no! I clicked the wrong thing. Oh well. I was gonna capture that cat. This is going to be overkill, but whatever. I'm getting through this game really fast. This is kind of cool. I kind of like this. I should have played the whole game on easy mode. Oh, what? I can't believe this monster survived my attack. What a jerk. <laughs> Die, robots. What? Thunder damage doesn't work either? What does work against him? Does I have to do wind damage? There we go. Okay, I should be able to capture this guy. He's a, he's a good one to capture. One of the best summons for, uh, for certain bosses. Two. Got a cat toy. Don't really need it though. I'm pretty happy with the one I have now. What did I learn when making version 2 that you'll use for next project? I learned not to do uh, post launch updates because they're really boring. Especially if I need to uh, get everything translated again. Like, uh, I don't know. 
I, I, yeah, it probably would have been better just to start a new project instead of updating an old one. If the media covered my games, it would be good advertising, because at the moment, like, no one really does. Like, barely any YouTubers have even played my games. Peace, no legs. This cutscene is fitting because no legs is the only one that got hit by the tank. So it's kind of funny how that works out. Anyway, uh, we're almost at Anna. Vaccines cause autism. I, I think autism causes anti-vaxxers. I think that makes more sense. Alright, I can finally capture this cat. There we go. Okay, uh, time to switch to epic mode. Alright, let's, uh, let's not save over my main game. Let's, uh, let's save that over here. Okay, epic, uh, cheats off, do 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 do, challenges off. Oh, I had challenges on? Oh, oh well, who cares? Didn't make much difference, did it? I think that's because I was doing an achievement earlier. Alright, so who's gonna fight Anna? I think it's gonna have to be No Legs. Okay, No Legs, what can you do? You need uh, resistance to poison. Okay, this has resistance to poison. Boost the damage of bomb skills. You don't have any bomb skills, though. Oh wait, this doesn't give him Berserk. I forgot. Okay, my mistake. This is not Equip Remix, this is the normal Equip stats. Okay, fair enough. So, I guess he can keep using that. 
Alright, uh... None of these are going to be particularly useful. Too bad Nolex doesn't have any bomb skills. Ooh, Juicy Beast. I forgot I had that. That's gonna be useful. Alright, let's see. Do I want a bit of Earth Resistance or Juicy Beast? I think I'll take Juicy Beast. Oh, I don't have any other summons. I, I, everything that I have is already equipped. Okay, fair enough. Alright, let's go. Let's fight Anna. Okay, let's start with this. Well, that was weak. I got this. Alright, yeah. No likes has this in the bag. It's got an HP buff. Oh, she's healing. That's okay, I'm not afraid. Is she weak against poison? I'm actually not sure. Let's take some beer. Well, I'm gonna keep defending in that case until she uses her limits break. Maybe the weather will kill her. It works for me. Here we go. Okay, that would not have killed me anyway. Finish her. Oh, that was close. Nice dodging, no legs. Okay, this was pretty easy, actually. Wow, that was too easy. So, Anna's usually not that hard anyway, because usually you only have two characters for her. So the fact that she's made much weaker for one player mode means that she's really easy. She, uh, yeah, she's nerfed more than other bosses because you're not supposed to have three players for this fight, but uh, her stats are reduced as if you were supposed to have three players. So I think she's, she's unfairly treated in this mode. But oh well, that was that was an achievement, so I guess I'm I'm done with this for now. So uh I guess it's back to doing the boss rushes for me. Wait, what am I doing? I'm not loading a backup save. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this boss rush again. Whether you want me to or not, I wanna get it done. Since I have my guys equipped for it. And all I have to do is be more careful when I get to Rafflesia. And play much more defensively at that point. Alright, let's do this again. It didn't take me that long to get there though, it took me like ten minutes, I think.
to the stream stop for someone. On my end, it looks like it's working okay. Eh, <laughs> nice damage. Equip Frenna's skill. Oops. Yeah, I probably could have used that. That would have been. Uh, actually, with my current setup, it wouldn't be that good because Nasli's not really a good attacker right now. So a mass uh, magic attack buff wouldn't be very useful. My cat's pretty helpful, actually. Just shows up randomly and does two or three hundred thousand damage. Pretty useful. deal with you. I want to get straight to the harder bosses. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oops. Uh, I'll have a turn for... Uh, yeah, okay, whatever. Let's see. Let's get Natalie back. Oh well, I can't use Hyper Beam because I've got a heal. Too bad. Stop healing the boss! Oh, I need to dispel him, actually. Oh, he's got some resistance to dispel. Oh boy. Oh no. Stop. Stop healing. I 
don't care if Lance dies after this. I need to get my revenge. This guy dies now. Okay, let's use let's use the emergency summon here. an account on Instagram. Well, we made an EBF account, but no one was following it, so I stopped updating it. But yeah, there, there, there's an official EBF account on Instagram. Oh, it's, it's probably not going to be updated anymore. Why use... Oh, uh, yeah. Why did I use coffee? Good points. Okay, limit break time. Perfect. You don't think making this rush harder is a good idea? Uh, it's not gonna be that much harder if I give the enemies 12% more damage. You know, I'm not playing as, as well as I can right now. I'm, I'm trying to kill the bosses pretty quick. If I wanted to, I could play more defensively. So it's, it's not like I'm going all out or anything. So, okay, so I'll do this first. It's kind of a waste, but whatever. Oh, he can't be staggered. Well, then I definitely wasted that. Oops. All right, nice damage. I'm not afraid of this guy. There you go. Oh, that was... That was actually pretty powerful, and it dispelled me as well. 
so I, I could have easily gotten a game over there. Oops. Well, yeah, so like I said, I'm, I'm not taking these bosses as seriously as I should be. Because if I was taking it seriously, then I would have uh, probably defended. killed him. Time for me to uh, to reconsider my strategy. All right, so I have a bit of poison resistance, but maybe I need more. Do I have a way to fix the memory leak in EBF4? Just reopen the application every hour or so, and that's that's all you can do, really. This radiation weather is not helping. Let's use up Natalie's turn for this. No mistakes are going to happen this time. Ah, that's me out of SP. Oh well. My max HP is also down. Come on, 
and status problems. Uh -huh. so that, that doesn't heal debuffs. Oh boy. So usually the best strategy against this boss is to just make sure that all the flowers that are on the field are water flowers, because they're not too dangerous. And then that means he can't spawn any of the other ones. Especially those red ones, they did a lot of damage to me last time. But that means I can't use Lance's Hyper Beam. Which is a shame, but whatever. Maybe I should change some of my equips. Oh, I should have equipped Juicy Beast. That would have given me some more SP. Oh well. Can't resist. I need to use this. I had to do it. It didn't even give me that much SP. Only... Oh my god. Oh well. Whatever. Uh-oh, Florin is here. Let's get rid of that guy. That wasn't very useful, but whatever. No wait, why did I do that one? I wanted the other one. Oh, oh well. Anyway, let's see. Maybe I should use Nuke instead. Minus, yeah, let's use Nuke. Oh, I just realized, Mathly's about to die from doom. Oh, so is Math. Whoops. Oh well, at least Natalie survived. Math used his last moment alive to feed a whole garlic to Natalie.
Oh shit. He was already char- oh, what? Lance had haste, not char- oh my god, I'm an idiot. They're both blue. Haste and charge are both blue, so I get them mixed up sometimes. I'm really gonna have to do something here to keep me alive. Yeah, you know, I don't care if these guys heal themselves. Oh. That annoys me, though. Oh, regen for everyone. Oh, cr whoa, that was too much damage. <laughs> All right, limit break time. Uh, I need I need someone the red B again. Damn it. Fire, ice, wind, poison. You know what? I'm gonna change Matt's skills and use his limit break. I mean, I'm gonna change his equips, rather, to... Yeah, let's change it to fire. Alright, here we go. Yeah, that was pretty good. Pretty happy with that damage. Alright, yeah. It's looking good. <laughs> he summoned a lot of guys at once. It's all right, I don't mind. Please die. Ah, no unleash. It's all right, I can do that again. Or I can do a uh, eruption. There we go. Gardening complete! See you next week, you filthy animals! Getting up to Praetorian, the last boss here. And I think I'm pretty well equipped to deal with him. I'm gonna change Matt back to what he had before. The shame I never put any equips in here, because that would be pretty useful. But uh, yeah, I added this new new feature for loading and saving sets of equips, but I don't really use it myself. Because uh I don't I don't really feel the need to plant that far in ahead.
Wait a second, what hass was I using? Well, I'm gonna go with this. Maybe that's what I had already, I don't know. Okay. Nice and holy, huh? I don't have a lot of SP, but I have enough for emergencies, I guess. Oh, death resistance. Uh, all right, let's see. Well, Lance is immune to death. Maybe I'll give uh, I'll give Natalie something. That's got death resistance. All right, so I'll give her that one. Oh boy, three crystals. Here we go. Oh yeah, all my HP's down. Oh, I didn't even realize. Oh boy. I guess I'm gonna eat some orange juice. Ooh. That was close. Let's see. Who else wants some OJ? No point saving my uh, my items because uh, I don't really need them for anything else except maybe the final boss. Radiation. Oh, his evade's really high. Oh, I can capture these blue crystals. Interesting. So yeah, normally, uh, normally the weather would be uh, clear, so I wouldn't have this big disadvantage of radiation kicking in every turn. So normally I wouldn't have to worry about that. So if I did turn up the enemy attack a little bit, that wouldn't make it that much harder for normal mode, because you wouldn't have to worry about the weather. Which is probably, well, I think over the course of this boss rush, that's probably cost me the most problems, because uh, those debuffs really add up over time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna summon Cat Ninja, and I'm gonna give Lance two turns. Oh, 
Oh, I was hoping the crystals would die. Oh my god. Armor guard. Come on, Nasali, I need you to charge your limit break faster. Oh, eat chips? Because, uh... Yeah, you're right, that would help. Yeah, maybe I should have used chips. Oh well, it's too late now, my HP's already down. Oh, that wasn't enough damage. Need more damage. Uh, I'm gonna summon Bookworm, because Matt can't really do anything else right now. Maybe. Oh no, I should probably lower his attack. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. It didn't work! Well, I'm not doing that again. Not anytime soon. So, uh, why did I die? Because I didn't have freeze resistance? So that what got me? Not enough freeze resistance and I got, like, too much damage because of that? Oh man. Oh well, I guess I can, uh, I can go to the other boss rush instead. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna save my equips for now. Yeah, I should've used the Holy Monolith. That stupid, uh, that stupid B didn't do anything. I should have taken my time and, and just looked at Praetorian stats better. Alright. Let's see. Let's let's go home. No, that's the wrong one. Free flower. Alright, here's the next one. Let's do this. Lack of Juicy Beast is what killed me. Maybe you're right. Well, Anna had Juicy Beast. Too bad she wasn't in the party. I'll change equips as I go if I need to. Wait a second. No, there's a, there's one summon that I need for this.
Ah, uh, do 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 do. Wait, why is there no music in my house? Huh? When I leave a battle, there's no music, really? Let me try that again. Yeah, there's no music when I get out of the fight. That's not correct. Though it's also not a big enough problem for me to actually do anything about it, so... Who cares? Anyway, where was I? I wanted to, uh... This guy, he gives me brave. Okay, that's what I need. All right, let's try it again. First boss here. This guy shouldn't be very hard as long as I don't make any mistakes. We'll see how it goes for the other ones. Oh, the glitch weather is here. No! Oh my god. I'm gonna bring a summon that changes the weather. I think this guy's the best, so let's put him in here somewhere. Well, I don't think I'm going to be catching anyone, so I don't need Putrid Worm, but I don't know. Maybe I do need to catch some of them. I do have backup players now. Oh, I don't know what to pick. These are all so useful. All right. There we go. That'll do. All right, let's try again. I need to capture the treasure boss? Okay, I'll try. Uh, at least for the boss rush, I have some more ideas now. I need to bring Juicy Beast with me. That's, that's definitely one of the things I could have done. Thing. I don't think it did. All right, one down. Well, one out of four. And then I've got uh, 11 more waves to go.
Hmm. Maybe if I let one of these pump kisses attack my guys, it'll charge my limit breaks a bit more for the next wave. Might not be so bad. takes much less damage when he's angry. Oh well. I think I got this. Well, I got Pump Kiss. I think I'm gonna have a, probably a very react- a very different reaction to every single boss in this lineup. So, too early to celebrate. But, you know, if I take it seriously and, and do the correct strategy for each one, then I should be okay. Especially with Juicy Beast. If I play defensively, I'll eventually get my SP back, and uh, the summons should keep me out of trouble. Okay, one down out of 12. Chairs. Okay, chairs are easy. I'm not worried about chairs. They use bomb attacks and lances. Got bomb resistance, I think. Yeah, okay, so lance should be here. Okay, that was some strong damage against math. Okay, they're not, they're not so weak, but I don't have any buffs right now, so once I get my buffs up, I should be doing a lot better. Alright, let's see. Let's do some damage. You know what? I'm just gonna nuke the chairs. Why not? Okay, that was uh, pretty good damage. Wait, ooh, I need to capture these guys. Uh, okay. No, he died of burn. Damn it. I think Anna still has her catching gear on? Yeah, she does. Okay, so... I should be able to capture this guy now. Easy! Alright, Bosch time. There's two Boshes. I only have to kill one and then the other one will run away. So, he should be pretty easy too. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Okay, who's got, uh, who's got poison resistance? Natalie does. So, Natalie and, uh, okay, Natalie should be much better in this fight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring Lance back to life, and I'm gonna get rid of him. Bring in Natalie. Oh, it's, the weather's radiation. oh yeah, because of the nuke. Yeah, okay, so it's radiation now. Alright, let's let's do some damage. It's a good thing all these bosses are weak against fire. 
so I can just keep attacking with my- Okay, okay. I killed one in one hit, and the other one should just run away now. Okay, that was easy. I killed- I, I won that in one turn. Perfect. Alright, who's next? Robo. Okay. Robo's gonna be hard if I'm not careful. I need to make sure I have Brave on, otherwise he's gonna do double damage. Oh, snap. There goes his, uh... Oh my god. Uh, he <laughs> alright, okay. So, who's got, who's got Thunder Resistance? No Legs does, Lance does. And, uh, okay, Matt was weak against Thunder, so that's why he died. So, these guys here, these guys should be okay, though. So, you know, let's, let's get ready. Okay, I, they should do much less damage now. Dispel. Oh boy. Okay, that was much better. So, uh, let's, let's bring Anna back to life. Just defend with her. Oh, she has targets to. Oh boy. Ah, uh, she's gonna die. Oh well, who cares? Let's uh, let's do some damage. Well, no surprises there. Hey, this is actually kind of useful. Even if she dies, you know, as long as all the enemies are targeting her, then I can feel pretty safe that I'm not going to be killed. Hey! Why did he attack Lance? What a jerk. Stupid weather. Can't even see what buffs I have. Kinda like the radiation more. <laughs> At least I could see what my characters were doing. Anna, do you have Arts Attack? I hope you do. You should. What? Is she stunned? God damn it. Uh, version 2 is out on Steam. It's in beta at the moment, which means you have to opt into the beta which you do by going to the game properties in the Steam clients, going to the betas tab, and selecting version 2.0. But uh, if you wait a few days, the final version should be out. Hopefully. So, at this point, you might as well just wait. Die, robots! Okay, one down.
Okay, Nasalee's limit's charged. That's a good sign. And Lance has haste, so that's nice too. I think I should bring No Legs back. He was surviving a lot better than Anna. Oh, come on. Finish him off. Okay, good. The robot appears to have accidentally divided by zero. Realize no legs should not be in the first position, so let's let's switch him around. Okay, that's four bosses down out of twelve. It's going, uh, it's going reasonably quickly, but you know things could easily turn around. I don't know if Matt's alive or not. I think he's alive. All right, I have to re be really careful here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna summon Wise Murder. I need to get Lance's limit break here, and I gotta nuke the hell out of these guys immediately. Oh, I've got 4 million HP. Well, I don't think I'll be able to kill them in one hit. But I'll, I'll try. Oh no, they have really low defense though. Yeah, so maybe I can kill them in one hit. Wait, do they dispel you as well? That would make uh that would make bless expire very quickly. Ah, dragon armor's taken. I don't think anything else buffs fire. Oh well. Plus 15. Alright, let's do it. Lands buffed? I don't know. I have no idea. Let's ho let's hope he survives for his next turn. Okay, here we go. Oh, his limit's not even charged yet. Okay, I'm an idiot. Oh well. No legs limit break. I want Lance's limit break. Damn. 
Okay, I stunned one of them. That's useful. No! No legs. I need you to be alive. Okay, come on, Lance. Take a little bit more damage. And get your limit ready. That wasn't enough. A gas attack. Oh, I, I had a hyper beam charged. Oops. Well, I can't tell. Because of the stupid weather. I don't even know what these guys are weak against. Oh my... Oh. Okay, Lance is charged. So, one nuke should finish them off. Hopefully the next boss doesn't kill me right away. Wow, three million damage. I think one of them took almost five million. Well, that was good. Okay, Snack, Snack. Snack. Yeah, Snack is next. Okay. Oh, they've got virus? Is that good or bad? Oh. I guess I'll find out if poison hurts them or not. Okay, poison hurts them, okay. Maybe, maybe virus is a good thing in this case. They're also weak against fire. No, they're not weak against fire. Oh, I can actually check their stats now. That's handy. Oh, because it's radiation. Radiation is on. That's why I can see their stats. Okay, they're weak against earth and poison. So I guess poison it is. Let's get Natalie back in here. Can she use her limit break? Not yet. Oh well. I think she'll probably get it soon. Still can't see my stats. Oh, because I have shroud. Ah, oh, whatever. Stupid shroud. Anyway. Let's, uh, let's gas these guys. Oh, uh, now you're not late if you're just popping in now. You missed me lose to the other boss rush, but I'm doing this one now, which might be even more interesting to watch. Why is everyone dead? Ah. Uh. Why are they attacking Matt? Ah. Oh, no legs can't eat, so I can't buff him. No legs, no, I can't use you. I can't use your limit break. I'll have to wait for next time.
Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, I, I forgot. I have to kill all these snakes at the same time. Otherwise, they can respawn. I totally forgot about that gimmick until now. doing that oh <sighs> I know I know I'm gonna I can't mess this up I need to kill all these snakes so let's do this oh she's confused ah oh. Better finish them off. Oh my god. If this doesn't do enough damage, then I think that the snakes will respawn immediately. Oh, okay, they're dead, they're dead. Good, good, good. Yeah, I should have used Seventh Heaven, but uh oh. Oh god. Oh no. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Ah, oh, what do I do? I can't use nine lives. Should I use Genesis? Should I summon the Phoenix? I don't really want to use Natalie's Limit Break until everyone's alive. But I think I have to. I think I have to do this now. Let's put on some fire and dark resistance. It's just fire. Those aren't too useful. Yeah, they're weak against holy. Okay, whatever.
I need to bring back everyone while I while I have this chance. No. Wait, did he get dispelled? Why didn't that phoenix come back to life? I wasn't paying attention, guys. What happened? Why, why didn't he come back to life? Anyway, uh, let's see. Maybe I should try to finish this off now. Oh, not these guys. Hey, they're also weak against fire. Everyone's weak against fire. Nice. Alright, let's see. These guys are pretty weak until they take some damage. So, uh, that should be okay. Oh, maybe they're not that weak after all. No legs, are you ready to revive multiple people at once? My SP is still a little low, so I'm gonna try to ration that for now. The Phoenix didn't have auto revive? Oh, I never noticed. That's nice damage. All right, let's let's do more of that. No. Okay. Okay, that wasn't so bad. almost down. Now he's gonna start healing, huh? How come, uh, how come he... How come it's... There's still four of him. Four stacks. That's weird. He's supposed to lose stacks. I don't understand. pretty well.
Well, this guy's working correctly. See, he lost his top stack. I don't know why the other guy didn't lose it. up next is it gonna be okay this guy I need to capture him oh my uh, he's gonna be hard well he's not gonna be as hard as the last time I fought him uh, on stream not too long ago with all the challenges enabled and that was hard so he should be easier this time yeah I already fought the robots the robots were actually pretty hard guys are weak against dark so let's see okay that's a lot of damage these guys won't live very long at all is a lot higher now, so that's a good sign. I'm still gonna save it for emergencies though. Uh oh. Okay, Lance is confused. That's not good. I don't want him to be confused. He's my main attacker, he needs to know what he's doing. I think he had haste as well. Did he have haste? Yeah, he did. Okay. So, I'm gonna do this again. There we go. Nice. Okay, this guy's... These guys are going down. They're, they're not too much trouble. attack them because they have they both ha both have lovable now all right I'll just defend for a while what exactly did I do to nerf invisible and enchanted well uh, they get used up now that's the difference every time they uh, the effect works they get used up so they wear off a lot faster, but also you get more stacks of them. So, uh, yeah, they're not as useful now, but they, they still can block a few attacks. Oh, don't forget to capture them. Yeah, okay. Well, it's going to be hard to capture them at this rate.
た Okay, one left, so I should be able to capture him now. Catch this guy, I'm gonna summon Viking Monolith because my SP is full. So, uh, catching him should give me some more SP. Oh, why not use Bowak? Uh, I don't want to go that low with his HP. Going down to 1 HP means he'll, he'll die of poison very easily. Alright, here we go. So, what do I need to watch out for here? Uh, lots of dark attacks. So, who's got dark resistance? Natalie does, Anna does, No Legs does. Okay. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring No Legs in. They also they can also freeze my guys. But No Legs is uh, immune to that at least. Okay. What should I start with? Taking out one of the weaker ones, I think. Uh, actually, I don't know what these guys are weak against. The uh, holy, I think, right? Holy. Yeah. Okay, it's holy. Good. Okay, they're uh, they're taking damage pretty quickly. Uh, scanning these guys wouldn't do anything. I, I already have them scanned, but I can't see their information because of the glitch weather. So I'm playing on a custom game mode, which makes all the weather in the game slightly more difficult. So here, the glitch weather is really annoying me because it can't. It means I can't see my character's buffs and I can't see the enemy stats either. So it's pretty tricky. But uh, the, the radiation weather was equally bad in the previous boss rush. So, uh, yeah, the, the custom game mode that changes the weather is actually pretty hard, because you have to, you have to deal with this crap in boss rushes. Oh, he's still alive, damn it. Ah, uh, he'll be dead soon. I'm not sure if No Legs even has a uh, attack buff, so I'm gonna give him one just in case. Wow. That's how quickly you die without dark resistance.
I can remove the glitch weather if I really want to with uh, with the summon. In fact, you know, maybe I'll do that next turn. Or uh, okay, let's bring let's bring Anna back. Let's do it. Five turns of sunlight. There we go, it's sunny now, so soon I'll be able to see my stats again. There we go. So, I don't have any buffs at all. That's why my characters are dying. I'll use Genesis. Yeah, maybe I should have. Oh well. It would have been fun, that's for sure, but it wouldn't do very much damage because Natalie's magic attack is very low right now. Okay, double limit. I'm gonna have super high stats and I better I better fight these guys as fast as possible so that I can have these all of these buffs on the next boss as well. Ha, huh, that was nice. There we go. Oh, he's berserk now, because all of his friends are dead. Well, I'm not worried about that. So, I, I think I'm ready to jump straight into the next boss. I don't think I have to do any preparation. Well, maybe I should take a look at my, my elemental resistance. Oh no, she does the debuff attacks! So, I'm gonna... Maybe I should use french fries. Yeah, I should use french fries. Okay, so who's, who's got resistance to water? Natalie does. Okay. Anyone else? I need resistance to water, poison, and ice. Okay, so ice resistance, some poison resistance. Okay, Natalie's in a pretty good position to survive here. Anna, not so much. I'm gonna give Anna some better equips for this boss. Poison and water. I mean, ice and water. Okay, there we go. Ice and water. And... Okay, that gives her tons of poison resistance. Alright, let's do that. Oh, I need to capture her as well. Oh my god. It's gonna be tricky. Oh, the weather's already back to normal. I can't dispel her because she has lovable. What is this garbage? At least I have max SP, so I don't have to worry too much. Yeah, I can use the weather guy again. Yeah, it's gonna be really tricky if I can't see what buffs she has. So, I just saw that she used Defend. I'm not sure if Defend can actually be dispelled, but I guess I'll find out. Let's 
so she can be poisoned, so I guess I'll try to poison her. Or can't- actually, I'm not sure. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, she's got regen already. Weak against thunder, poison, and uh, and dark. Okay. All my SP. Maybe, uh, maybe I should have not used so much. Okay, uh, yeah, let's do some damage. That was a lot. Okay. Let's keep it up. She's got lovable. Ah. Ah. <sighs> All right. Yep. Yeah, okay. In that case, uh, well, I can't use the spell because Anna has the spell. Do I ever notice status effects before it's too late? Uh, no. I just, I, I just can't be bothered taking it slowly. I'm, I'm trying to, uh, trying to make this quick and fun. But maybe in that other boss rush, uh, I should take it a bit slower towards the end. Okay, it looks like she is over. Here we go, last boss. Uh-oh. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ha <laughs> ha what a great start. Okay, okay. Okay, I got this. I got this, guys. Let's do this. No legs? You can't use nine lives. Ah! Okay, fine, fine. No nine lives. So, what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna use espresso because I don't want to mess this up. I'm gonna... Wait, if I summon the Viking Monolith, then I can't summon uh... the other guy. Oh, Alright, summon Roasted Gloop.
So I need Nathalie's Limit Break as soon as possible now. There it is. Don't kill her, don't kill her. Okay. So, I can't switch to No Legs, because he's gonna die, so I need to use 7th Heaven. I need to, uh, summon that Gloop again and get my, uh, my Brave up. Okay, let's see. Who's gonna be my main attacker? Probably Matt. Let's give him some, uh... Some Heaven's Gates. And actually, Golden Axe will be better. Yeah, Golden Axe. Okay, I think I got this. Just need to be careful. I didn't capture the previous bo- oh well. I, I forgot to capture Coralia. Oh well. I'll do it some other time. Because uh, I do want 100% the game on, on stream, so I will, uh, I'll change the settings so that enemies respawn and then I'll go back and capture everything that I missed. You know, just for the sake of uh, completing it. Completing every little thing. Okay, is Matt buffed? I have no idea. I really have no idea. I'm gonna assume that he is. Alright, that's pretty good damage. That's also pretty good damage. It's not bad. I'm not afraid of this guy anymore. Oh, he's counter-attacking with Virus. Uh, I'm not too worried about that. And it's gone. But he's gonna get stronger. Oh no. Maybe I should have healed instead. Alright, let's bring someone else in. Alright, no legs, you're still... your HP's still low. take him out. I hope this kills him. I don't think it will, though. No. Halfway there. Okay. We're, we're getting somewhere. Wait a second. I can go all out and just finish him off now. the right amount of damage. Hey, I got half a level. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. So, there you go. That was the arcade boss rush with, uh, with a lot of the custom game settings turned on. So you had alternative weather, which was pretty tricky. That made it a lot harder than it would have been otherwise. But, anyway, uh, I'm still going to make that a bit harder, because I'm going to make the enemies do a bit more damage. Because they're not as strong as they're supposed to be right now, because this is a uh, scaling foes mode, which means I'm level 45. 
which is pretty high, and the enemies don't keep up with your stats. So I'm, I'm going to give them a bit more attack power. Anyway, uh, let's see. I've got all the cards. I've got almost all the medals now. I just need to go back and do that boss rush that I kept losing to. I'll try to do quest completionist next time after the boss rush. And then after that, I just have to defeat the boss. And once once the final boss is defeated, I'll probably go back and uh, try to capture everything and, and do whatever little stuff is still left to do. And after that, I'll probably take a break from this game. But I'll, I'll probably have to stream more later. I'll, I'll probably have to come back and try some more of the challenge options, like maybe two-player mode with lots of challenges enabled. Something really hard, I think, would be quite fun to watch. So uh, that's been three hours and 20 minutes, and I guess that's the end of this live stream. So give me a like and go buy the game on Steam if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time, I guess. So uh, until then, see you later.